Oh shit. Hey y'all. So I'm kinda emotional right now, you know. Kinda emotional when I say some stuff. You know, you know, sometimes someone just be emotional, you know. I just want to say that everything that has happened to me this past year is with, like, social media or people bullying me or people, you know, not leaving me alone has changed who I am. The first, the first, the first day that... I came to Miami, it's just, it wasn't me anymore, you know, like, I was, I was not the same girl I was when I used to live in Spain, right, and I just want to say thank you, I just want to say thanks to all my fans, I want to thank all my fans for always being there for me, for making me strong, for always you know, putting a smile on my face. I'm sentimental, so like, I just wanna thank my fans for everything that they've done. Hold on a second. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay. Good. So yeah, I just wanted to thank my fans. I wanted to thank the people that have always been there for me. I wanted to thank the people that, you know, never gave up on me. And always saw the best part of me and the best, you know, side of Malu. Hold on. I need some fucking tissues or some shit. Cause, god damn. We all got them sentimental days, to be honest. <laughs> and today we might be. Okay. Alright, so. I love you. And you know, I just wanted to go live to let you guys know that don't ever give up on your dreams. Even, even if you do stuff wrong, because we all do stuff wrong. Even if you do stuff wrong, you still have the right to be happy. You still have the right to do what you love doing. Not because you commit mistakes, not because you do all this stuff means you're a bad person or means you're doing something wrong. You're not. And I like I like expressing myself and I like expressing my feelings and I like talking to you guys. I like appreciating what you guys have done for me. You know, all this hate, even the haters like, I know, I know sometimes I might answer back to haters more than my fans, but I don't, I don't see it that way. Sometimes I just like, if you were in my position, you would, you, you would do exactly the same thing. So I just want to say that don't give up on your dreams. If people tell you, you can't do it, be ready to show them that you could fucking do it. Be fucking ready to show them that you can fucking do it because you're a bad bitch. And for guys too. If you have a dream, do it. Fight for it. In life, things don't come like this. And the things that does come like this, leave like this. You can't just expect that just because you're being stupid on Instagram and getting a lot of views and getting a lot of likes is going to get you anywhere. It's not. Working hard for what you love, doing what you like, it's what's going to get you somewhere. So, fuck what everybody says about you. Yes, you. we all commit mistakes. I fucking commit mistakes all the fucking time. All the fucking time. I'm a fucking child. I commit mistakes. But I know my shit. And I know what I love. And I know that I'm never going to give up on that. Neither if people... Tell me bunch of shit. Neither if they call the police on me. Neither if they make my life as miserable as they could. They will never, never make me stop chasing my dreams. Because that's what I love. And none of this material shit is going to go with you when you die. 
All the memories, it's what's gonna go with you. So stop fucking caring what fucking people say. Stop listening to people. You're beautiful just the way you are. You don't need to look like that to be beautiful. You don't need to have a big ass to be beautiful. You don't need to have big boobs for guys to like you. You don't need none of that. The people that are gonna like you are gonna like you for who you are. And are gonna stand by you for who you are, not for who you're trying to be. Because once you try to be someone you ain't, you're gonna lose yourself. You're gonna lose yourself and you're not gonna remember who you really truly was. So fuck what people say. Fuck what they gotta say. I don't give a shit if people don't like me. I'm still gonna do what I love. And I'm still gonna do music. I'm still gonna write songs. And I'm still gonna dance. I'm still gonna belly dance. And I'm still gonna act the way that I am. Because that's who I am. And if people don't wanna fucking like it, that's alright. I don't need people to like it. I'm gonna fight for what I want. People be like, oh, you haven't done this. You haven't done that. Don't compare me to people. I'm not... I, I'm not here to compete with nobody, with no fucking body but myself. Every day, I try to be the better person that I was the day before. So don't be fucking here and comparing me to none of these stupid ass bitches. Because I don't give a fuck about them. You understand? My career is huge. And what I'm about to do with myself is huge. And what I'm about to drop in, in fucking September is huge. I don't got fucking time to be fucking fighting with dumbass bitches that all they know how to do is talk shit or look pretty for fucking camera, bitch. I know my shit. I know my fucking shit. Yes, I go out grown. And trust me, these tears ain't of me being sad. These tears are of me being fucking happy as fuck. Because I've been... I've been in those moments where I've lost myself, like literally lost myself. Like I did not know who I was. I did not know what I wanted it. I was just thinking what people thought was best for me. And I was wrong. I was wrong because I can just sit here and listen to everybody talking shit because that's only going to bring you down. So right now I'm not, I'm not reading comments. I'm going to stop using Instagram that much. I'm going to get to my motherfucking music because that's what the fuck I came here. That's what I was born for. I'm a fucking superstar, bitch. And I'll say it louder for the people in the back. So yeah, I'ma start doing my shit. I've been doing my shit. People say I say a lot of shit, but I don't. I don't. I really don't. So yeah, to be honest, just wait. Just wait for my video to drop. You're gonna know. You're gonna know who's really gonna be the next coming up artist. You're really gonna fucking know that shit. You're really gonna fucking know that shit. And trust me. When people tell me. Listen, I get people sending pizzas to my house. If you wanna send food to my crib, make sure you send something that I like because I don't eat pizza. I don't like pizza, I don't eat pizza. So if you're gonna send food to my house, make sure you, I'll pay for it, cause I'm, I'm rich and I got money and I'll pay for it. But if you're gonna send something to my motherfucking crib, make sure it's something that I like. I like meat, I like um chicken, you know, like like grilled chicken, I like real, grilled chicken, I like french fries without, without the, um, Without the skin, I don't like french fries with, with skin. So make sure you order me something that I like. Because all the negative shit that, you, that you're going to put through me, I'm just going to make it positive. I'm just going to motherfucking make it positive. So make sure when you send food, make sure... Because I know y'all send food without paying for it. Y'all making people work for... Is that... Y'all don't understand. It breaks my motherfucking heart. Because when I used to live in the other house, I had old ass people, like old people bringing bags like this that they couldn't even hold it their self. That you guys didn't even pay. You guys are the ones that ordered it to my house. And they had to go back with all that shit. Do you know how hard people work for that?
Do you know how hard it is to make all that goddamn food? You're disgusting. And let me tell you something. There's something called karma. Then whatever you're fucking doing to me, it's gonna go back to you. And I wish you the fucking best. I wish you will get a life. I wish you will do something productive with your life that you stop fucking caring what I would do. Because I don't wish nothing bad to nobody. At all. And yeah, that's who I am. And get ready for everything that's fucking coming my way, bitch. Because I'm fucking in love with, with who I am. I'm in love with my flaws. I'm in love with my short hair right now. I'm in love with it. And if tomorrow I want to put extensions back on, I'm going to put them. I'm in love with who I am. And I ain't going to let nobody of these people fucking tell me different. You think I'm a hoe? Look. Un aplauso, bitch. Listen, try to bring me down, but you're going to bring me up. Every time you bring me down, I bring myself up ten times, bitch. Ten times harder than whatever the fuck you did to me. And I never wish people bad. God gave me the voice that I had. God gave me my supporters for a reason. God put me in this position for a reason. Because if I wasn't supposed to be here, there would be another bitch. And it will be not me. But I was meant to be this person. And I'm about to fucking demonstrate, y'all. Not with words. With fucking actions. Who the fuck is really winning? And like, to be honest, every day I just get more confident with myself. Some days I feel like straight up piece of shit. Some days I just feel ugly as fuck. Some days I just look at myself and I be like, God damn, baby, you is fine as a motherfucker and i'd be like what the fuck are you always you know reading comments and doing all this shit i'm like hello i must stop doing that i'm not reading comments i must start posting so much i must stop doing all that shit because i just got off i'm turning 16 in october and all i want all i want for my birthday is my fans to go to my birthday. That's all I wanted and that's all I've asked for. Because, you know, my label was like, what What you want us to do? You know, we, we could put you in New York in, in a big ass place where, where you could see a fucking sky and you could fucking bring all your friends there, a lot of celebrities. I don't want that. Because none of these motherfucking celebrities are going to be there for me. None of these motherfucking cute ass boys are going to be there for me. None of these motherfucking friends are going to be there for me. My fans are fucking not going to be for me. My fucking family are going to be there for me. So, for my fucking birthday, I'm going to make a huge ass party. I don't know if it's even going to be in Miami or whatever, but it's going to be of my fans and the people that I fucking love and the people that I fucking care. Because these motherfuckers I got billions of likes, their life is not even good. Likes, followers doesn't define if you're doing good or if you're doing better than somebody. I love my fans and I love the people that support me. But I don't need all this. All I need is my music. And that's what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Trust me, I have about 40 songs that I haven't dropped. Because I was stuck on this label that we all go through this. Camila Cabello. Camila Cabello didn't drop music for the same months as me. Camila Cabello didn't drop because of the same thing. She, she got off her label, just like I did. So she couldn't drop music for six months. Then she dropped music, and it went fucking viral. So get motherfucking ready for the fucking song that's coming up in September 28th. And I put it on my mama, that shit. It's talent, bitch. Bitch, 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 bitch. And yeah, look, I don't act my age. I don't. I don't act my age. But you want to know why I don't act my age? Y'all motherfuckers make us like this. Y'all motherfuckers be like, why do kids got to do this? Why do kids got to do that? You motherfuckers are the one that makes us like this. Fuck is you talking about? Why do kids gotta wear shorts so short? Because bitches like you that are grown tell bitches like us that are really little that we ain't that pretty. 
that we don't know how to dress, that we don't know how to do all this stuff. So what do pretty young bitches do? They do what they say they can do. That's why we, we demonstrate grown bitches that we could do what, what they could fucking do. So when motherfuckers tell me, why you like that? Because this motherfucking life is a motherfucking piece of shit. And it's either you work hard, you don't give a fuck what nobody gotta say about you, or you bring yourself down, and you ain't got shit to do, bitch. All you gotta do is hate on people like this motherfuckers do 24-7. So, like... Keep hating on me. Keep calling me a hoe. Keep doing all this shit. All the shit is gonna turn into love. Love. Hate, it's love. And you're gonna love me once I start dropping more songs and more songs and more songs. Cause my songs are catchy, are good songs. And I'm a fucking great ass motherfucking artist, bitch. So fuck with me. Just wanted to go like, I feel confident, I feel free, I feel happy. I feel like I have everything that I, I always wanted right now. L literally my favorite artist, when I tell you my favorite artist followed me three years ago, which is Chris Brown. My favorite artist followed me three years ago. I didn't believe that shit. I fucking didn't believe that shit. I was like, God damn, I thought I was a piece of shit a person. Like, I actually thought myself was a piece of shit a person. Like, because of what people would tell me. But right now, right now, I see. I look back. I look back at... All the shit that people used to tell me and how I used to react. And I just focus on what's going on right now and it's the same shit. So I just know what to do now. Is that I can't believe my favorite rapper, my favorite artist, they both know me. They both talk to me. They both, like, give me advice. I have an amazing label, uh, fucking record label. That I just got signed to. That's gonna change my whole career. So I don't really got time to be fucking fighting with no bitch that supposedly looks like me. Or no fucking bitch that sings better than me or is doing better than me. I don't give a fuck. Gotcha? Gotcha. Ah! Hey. I feel fucking free, bitch. I feel free, I feel happy, I feel I feel honored to have the fans that I have. I really do. And I love you guys, and I'm gonna make y'all so proud that I don't even wanna talk about my song anymore. I'm just gonna stay low. I'm gonna stay low. I got my single, my, my, my singing classes today at night. I'm starting my singing classes. I'm starting my act, acting classes because I'm going to be doing a lot of movies. I'm starting... What else? Oh, I'm starting dancing classes too. And speaking lessons for like when I'm in the public, what should I say or how should I react to people? Because, you know, a bitch don't know none, none of that. But I'm starting. And I'm just going to get better and better and better. Yeah, damn, I had to let that shit go. We don't care. Oh, that's cute. Then why are you here? Hmm. Someone mad. But anyways. Si eres bella, ser la buena actriz. Gracias. Congratulations. God bless you. And listen, for all my females, where you see me at right now, whatever you want to do with your life, whatever makes you happy, do it. I know the feeling where, where you think that nothing's going to happen. That nobody's going to ever like you. That your dreams are never going to become true. But that's what everybody thinks. And not everybody makes it. But once you put your mind into it, and you say you could do it, and you fucking do it, and you work hard for your shit, it's going to pay off. Because I didn't come here as a meme. I didn't become famous as a meme. I become famous because of the way I look and the way I dance. So let's be honest. I didn't become famous because I just look pretty in pictures. Because y'all know damn well I didn't become famous because of that. I become famous because of the way that I am and because I don't let nobody fucking get to me. 
And because I make dope ass fucking music, bitch, you got me fucked up. But anyways, I got a lot of songs that, you know, it matches. Like, I got songs that that's what you will sing to a boy or that's what you will sing to a bitch. So they're going to get popping. My manager was the other day in the radio stations of Miami, New York, and all that shit. And everybody fucking loved the song. And everybody's gonna be fucking playing that shit. Even your mama, bitch. If you ain't playing it, your mama playing it, bitch. So, yeah. I just wanted to let you guys know. I love ya. I'm gonna get out of life, you know. I'm gonna go do something, I don't know. And yeah, I just I just wanted to say life to thank my fans and my supporters for always being there for me. I love you. And if I'm up, you're up, bitch. You're up with me. I love y'all. Go show love to my pictures. I love all of y'all. I always love that you guys always paying attention to what I do. And listen, don't be worrying about me because I'm fine. And I'll always be fine. Because that's... Even if I wanted to give up, it's not in my blood. I can't give up even if I want to. So, goodbye, guys. Mm.